I like the title of this video. If a tree falls in the forest, you'll hear about it. Actually, that isn't really true. Many trees have come down out here that I haven't done videos on. This one, for instance, fell and broke apart months ago. I'm glad this tree broke into these smaller chunks. They were a lot easier to drag and roll out of the way. Two other big trees just recently came down out here, and they happen to be instructive as far as what I will and won't take care of out here. Maybe I should call this video a tale of two trees. I'll get some drone shots so you can get a wider perspective of things as well as close-ups of where the trees snapped. I've spent a couple years clearing blackberries and ivy out of this patch of land. On the one hand, I'm glad those invasive species were gone at the time this tree fell. Digging them out would have been more difficult with a big tree on top of them. On the other hand, I was a little dismayed to have this big tree right in the middle of my freshly cleared forest meadow. I've decided not to do too much with this tree. As trees come down out here, there's a little less privacy for us and for our neighbors. But the branches of this tree form a kind of natural screen from the trail on this side and our neighbor's place on this side. I think this tree broke off from way up there. So this whole thing is like, maybe not even half of the tree. I'm glad it didn't crush this little whimsical stump. There's an earlier video that I posted about this stump. I'm also glad it didn't crush any more than it did this old tree. Objectively speaking, this tree is probably the ugliest one out here, but I kind of like its tenacious and stubborn character. Clearly, it's been through a lot and it's still hanging in there. There's not much that I need to do with this tree. 
I'll just need to pull out some of the broken branches for chipping and shredding, as you can see. This tree was not encumbered with ivy. That was not the case with this other tree that came down. I've already gotten a good head start hauling out ivy and broken branches from this section. Here's a section I haven't gotten to yet. And here are some branch piles that I've started. Removing that material helps me to see and helps me to show you just exactly how I need to take care of this. This tree fell right across the forest loop trail, so I need to cut a section out to open that trail back up again. Opening up this trail axis again is what this video is about. It's the interesting part. Don't worry, I won't make you watch me cleaning out dead branches and ivy from all of the rest of that. You could be forgiven for thinking that this was two trees that came down, not just one. Somehow, this tree split into two trunks, and where it split was the weak spot that failed.
That was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be, but I'm very happy with the results. Those two trees came down immediately after we had a snow day. I love the way it looks out here in the snow. It just seems so magical. I happened to come out with my camera just as the snow was starting to fall. And then I came back the next day after the snow had accumulated a little bit and those trees had fallen. So now I'll show you a quick sequence from before the trees fell, a little bit right after the trees fell. And now, now that the path is nice and clear again. Mm -hmm. 